Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about network policy. So this is another interesting uh, concept in the Kubernetes where uh, we basically restrict the communication happening to the pod via network policy. So let's first understand what is network policy, what is the need of it, and then we'll see how we can do that in the Kubernetes. So let me just quickly share the screen where I'll just try to explain the concept on the whiteboard first. So uh, what happens is uh, we already talked about a pod, okay? And then if you want to interact with that pod, we should have some service in between. Then only if there is any other pod, that pod first will talk to the service and then via that service will talk to that pod. Okay, that's what the default behavior we have seen. So that means if you have any number of pod, if they want to talk to this, let's say pod P1, they can easily via this service, they can talk to this, okay? And even if you talk about uh, a pod network, uh, all the pods are getting IPs like, let's say, uh, 192.168, let's say 0 0.2. So then this pods will get IP something like 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, like this, they will get the IP. So we know that we don't uh, communicate via uh, IP, but yeah, here for a quick uh, understanding, we can just quickly use IP as well. Okay, or always via service anyway, the pods will anyway will be able to talk, right? But even if you log inside the pod and then if you use the IPs, then this IP also we can directly reach out, right? But if for a permanent communication, we use the service. So here main point, uh, main thing to understand is basically any pod can talk to any other pod via service or via directly with the IP. So in production, we can't use the IP because those keeps changing it, right? So if that is a happening, okay, if that is a direct communication happening by default, what if you want to put a restriction? Like let's say, uh, let me just use a different color here. Yeah, so let's say this is a database pod and you want this database pod to be communicated only by, let's say this is a web front end pod we have. Only we want to communicate, we want the communication from the web pod. We don't want the, <coughs> sorry, we want don't want the communication from this uh, pod P2 and P3. Okay, so that is where this network policy comes in picture, right? So why this network policy we can restrict, okay, that what would be the ingress traffic? So okay, traffic coming to that pod, we call it as a ingress traffic. Okay, and then the traffic going out of this pod, we call it as a egress traffic. So by using this network policy, we can control the ingress and egress traffic. Okay, so how we can do that with the network policy? Let's understand. Let me go to the next whiteboard where I'll just try to ex explain it. So let's say uh, this is the pod, okay? This is a database pod. And let's say this is another pod, let's say UI pod. So we want only uh, this UI pod should communicate with the database. So the traffic coming to this pod, we call it as a increase. And the traffic that is going out, we call it as a egress, okay? So by using a network policy, we can control who can talk and whom we can talk. So there are basically three different ways to do that. Three different ways to do that controlling. The first one is a pod selector. So we have a mechanism to select a pod, only that pod will be allowed to communicate with this, okay? So the same, this three rules that we are going to talk about, the same rule we can apply to ingress traffic as well as egress. Okay, so let's say, let's talk about the ingress for now. So we can put a restriction on that, which pod can communicate with this database. Okay, or we have another option that is namespace selector. Okay, namespace selector. That means all the pods under that namespace can talk to this pod. And the third one is a IP block. That means we can just give a range of IPs Okay, we want to allow only communication from the range of IPs or even we can add some exception as well, right? So these are the three different ways. Let me re recap. 
pod selector means which pod can talk to the db namespace selector means all the pods from that namespace can talk to this pod and then ip block means a range of ips will be able to talk to this pod okay and the same we can apply to the egress app as well. <coughs> the same we can apply to the egress part as well. okay so let's see now how we can basically apply this rule okay how we can apply this policies right so basically to apply this we uh, use again a label okay labels are very popular in the kubernetes by using labels we can make it happen okay so first of all whenever we want to create a network policy network policy is nothing but you can kind of consider that you are putting one putting on that okay so and then to which pod we want to apply a network policy again that we can do with a label like let's say if you define that okay that okay uh, pod with a label db so if you define that then what will happen this policy will be applied to the pod having label db okay let, let me take an example and then i'll show you so what i'll do i'll just go to the documentation and you can just simply search a network policy we'll get a some sample example and let me just copy that sample example So here we go, we have a sample example. So let me just copy this and go back to the cluster. So I have a cluster ready. Uh, let me just do kubectl get node. Yeah, so you can see cluster is ready. It's in a not ready state because uh, I have not uh, basically applied the plugin yet. So let me just apply that plugin I have not applied. So one more thing that I wanted to talk about here is I'm using a kind cluster, okay? I'm using a kind cluster. And uh, this, uh, by default, a kind cluster uses a uh, kindnet as a CNI plugin. So kind kindnet CNI plugin does not support a network policy. Network policy is supported by a Calico plugin. So what I'm doing is I have already created a cluster by disabling the default CNI, and then I'm giving some subnet, okay? So once we do this, we have to, <coughs> sorry. Once we do this, we have to, <coughs> we have to install the Calico plugin. So how to install, we'll get a ready-made YAML file. That's what we have to just install it. So I got the YAML, and let me go ahead and just install it. Uh, okay, so there is something mess. So just give me a second, I'll just fix it. Okay, perfect. So I have a simple cluster and uh, what I have done is basically, I have three pods, I've created a simple three Nginx pod, okay? And we know that if you want to get the pod IPs, we can use hyphen OI. So here you can see we have three pods perfectly running fine. So now what I'm going to do is, uh, I'll log into the Nginx2 and try to ping the IP of Nginx1. So how to log in? We have an exec command kubectl exec hyphen it pod name and bash so i'm inside the nginx2 pod and this is the ip of pod one nginx1 so i'll do ping you can see it's pinging right we have not created a network policy yet so it's perfectly fine running so let me come out of the nginx2 and let me log into nginx3 as well and then do ping ip of again nginx1 and that's also pinging right so that means now both Nginx2 and Nginx3 is able to reach to the Nginx1. That's the default behavior. Now let me create a network policy. So let me come out of this. I'll create a network policy. And for a network policy, what I'll do is, I'll just simply go to the documentation and I'll just simply copy this, uh, the policy as is, okay? So I'll just paste this and I'll explain what it is. So first of all, this API version kind metadata spec, this four top four attributes will remain same for everything. Now, this pod selector, what it says, it says on which pod you want to apply this policy, right? So what does it mean by this code? That we were, are trying to apply this policy to the pod, which has a label role is equal to D. Perfect. So let's, let me save it. Now, how to see the labels of the pod? If it will get pod hyphen hyphen show labels. So, 
Now we want to apply this policy to the pond engineers. One. So let's add the label. How to add the label? kubectl label the pod nginx1 and what is the label? Role is equal to d. Perfect. So now if you go back, we have this role is equal to db label. So that means now whatever network policy we are going to create, that will get applied out to the nginx1. Okay. Now what is next? Then after this, we need to specify, <coughs> sorry, we need to specify the policy, whether you want control <coughs> ingress traffic or egress traffic, or you want to create a board. So for this example, let's keep only the ingress. So I'll just remove the egress part. And similarly, I can just remove the egress part below, available below. Okay. Perfect. So now ingress policy. Now here, as discussed, there are three different ways to define. Either you can restrict uh, the traffic from the IP range, or from a namespace or from a pod. So for this example, let's keep only the pod selector. So I'll just remove everything else. So what does this mean? That allow, okay, ingress traffic allow only from the pod having label role is equal to front end. So this will allow the traffic only from the pod having label role is equal to front end. And if you want to restrict with a specific port, like, okay, you want to allow the traffic only on the port 6379. That's also fine, but I'll just remove this. That's okay. If you want to add more restriction, that's okay. Now, what does this network policy says? Apply this network policy on a pod having label role is equal to DB at the ingress traffic. And rule for ingress is you want to allow the traffic only from the pod having label role is equal to front. End. That's it. This is how your network policy will look like. So let me say now role is equal to front end. Let's say you want to allow only <coughs> traffic from Nginx2. So let's add the label to that. kubectl label the pod nginx2. And what is the label? A role is equal to front. That's it. We are done. Okay. So now if you go back and see the label. So role is equal to db. This is the label on the nginx1. And role is equal to front end. This is the label on the nginx2. And now let's create a network policy. How to create? Now we have a file. So kubectl apply hyphen app network policy dot yeah. So it is getting created. So to get the network policy, you can do kubectl get network policy. So here you can see network policy got created and that will be applied to the pod having label role is equal to db, right? So now, <laughs> now if I just try to run it, what will happen is uh, if you try to ping the IP of nginx1, only the nginx2 should be able to ping. nginx3 should not because we have created a network policy which will allow the traffic only from the pod having this label. Okay, so let's see whether that's happening or not. So kubectl get pod hyphen oy. Uh, let me log in inside the kubectl exec hyphen it. Our pod name is nginx2. Bash. So I'm inside the nginx2, and if I just ping the IP of Pod one, so you can see it's perfectly pinging. Why so? Because we have a network policy in place. So let's come out and let's log into the nginx three. Now we are not allowing the traffic. Okay, nginx one is not allowing the traffic from pod which does not have a label role is equal to front end. We have a role is equal to front end label only to the nginx two. It is not there for nginx one. Sorry, nginx three. So let's see ping the IP, and here we go. You can see now it is not responding. Why so? Because what we have done is, let me put it here. <coughs> so what we have done, this is a D pod having label role is equal to DB. And then this is a pod having label role is equal to front end. Okay, so this is happening fine. Okay, but when this pod, which does not have label, if it is trying to do this, this is a, let's say, consider network policy. So it is going in, but this is not allowing to go in because there is this network policy that is we created that is blocking. Okay, so that's how we can basically restrict, okay, who can talk and whom we can talk, right? 
now the way we created okay the way we created a a network policy for a new pod selector similarly you can add a namespace selector or ip block and accordingly your network policy will be okay so i hope everyone understood this network policy concept it's a very simple okay to which you can basically control who uh, who can talk to whom and uh, that complete uh, basically uh, a traffic control that is something we can achieve with the help of network policy okay and we can control the ingress traffic as well as the egress traffic which is going outside okay perfect so i hope everyone understood so please uh, uh, share your comments if you have any query i'll try to answer that and if you like the video please subscribe the channel uh, if you have not uh, shared it with your friends please do share and uh, keep watching happy learning thanks everyone